Hi, I'm Randy Vance. I'm on Lake Erie near Sandusky, Ohio on a brand new boat from Regal. This is their LS36. Now this is an enormous luxury cruiser that's got some awesome seating in the deck plan, great features underneath the deck. It's powered by Volvo Penta. We hit a top speed of over 48 miles per hour on it. I want to walk you through this boat, starting with the way they've designed this helm station, which I think is just stellar. First, you've got a double wide helm station here with a very comfortable seat for two people. You've got two large Garmin screens here. Autopilot is standard on this boat. We have a joystick steering here to the right. On the port side, you've got a large double console there with a Garmin display in it. That gives the passengers an opportunity to be involved in the navigation, know where you are, see the depth and things like that. You could actually put the football game on one of those screens. Now one thing that Regal prides itself on are the ergonomics of this boat. And as you can see, I'm comfortably reclined here at the helm station. My hand falls easily to the wheel, the gear shift, the joystick. You have the same comfort on the port side console with a great footrest down here. It's not skimpy, plenty large with a teak surface on it that looks good and is durable. Now the LS36 is a four season boat. We're in Sandusky right now, as I said, and it's a little cool here. So we've got the cockpit entirely closed in. The central windshield window slides instead of hinges. That's really a nice touch because it's a heavy windshield. It's a lot safer. We think it's a really good setup. The side glass slides back. That'll open the area up further and the sunroof slides straight back. You can have the entire area open to the sun just like any other open bow boat. If you look to the left of the wheel, you'll notice two air conditioning vents. They're also heater vents, and that's part of the power package that comes on this boat. Now here's something I think's cool. Pull this latch, and you've got a James Bond door that opens up to an enormous head compartment down below. Now when you step down into the head, there's a durable wood step to the sole, and you lift it up, you have storage underneath. The sole itself is a wood grain laminate that looks great. You've got a porcelain head, a freshwater sink, and your distribution panel to all the power systems on the boat are easily accessible on the port side wall. Now to check out the sleeping compartment in the starboard console. Let's open that window, trip that magnetic latch, step forward, and now you've got three easy steps to the sole below and a nice sleeping berth. Now, in addition to a sleeping berth, there's also access to your breakers and your thermostat for the AC heating system. For easy care, the entire surface, floor and sides are gel coated. Now, the forward seating area is an ideal representation of Regal's attention to ergonomics. It's so comfortable. You've got the armrest that folds down here. The height here is just comfortable, thick bolsters, easy reach to the grab rail. You've got a grab rail down below. Your cup holder is very handy. The seating is spacious enough for four or five people to enjoy a conversation in the open air. Now, my favorite area of the boat is the cockpit. You step inside this galley area here, You've got an electric grill. You've got a cutting board with a basin beneath, and you've got a freshwater sink with stainless steel fittings. Now underneath the grill is a Yeti cooler that slides out for easy access. Underneath the passenger seat forward, you've got a refrigerator that pulls out. Underneath the driver's seat, you've got two storage drawers, which can be optioned out either for a refrigerator or a freezer. Now, while one of your crew members is working at the galley, there's plenty of room to pass by and enjoy the seating here in the cockpit. Again, you've got Regal's attention to ergonomics. There's plenty of comfort because of the ideal angle to the seat backs and the ideal height. I like this handy grab rail here. You're comfortable all the way around. Behind the driver's seat, you've got an L-shaped lounge, and on the aft side is a fold-down armrest. You've got the same great ergonomics there, and there's a cocktail table. You'll also find that there's a cocktail table available for the corner on the port side. Now, the nice thing about this seating area is it provides an awesome circle of conversation. And with the TV pulled down, everybody's in the game.
With the seat back moved forward, you're in the Shea Lounge mode, but you've also got rumble seat options here. It's a great place to hang out by the swim platform. I like the stainless steel grab rail all along the platform. It's a great handhold for when you're swimming. Now, I love push buttons, and my favorite feature back here is activated when you touch this one. There's a swim platform that comes out of the swim platform and settles down into the water at the ideal height for a seat or an easy way for your dog to reboard. In fact, there's a lot of cool techie features on board that operate by a push button. You've got pop-up LED lights, and in fact, there's LED courtesy lights throughout the boat. The TV comes down on an electric button. The captain's chair adjusts electrically. Even the engine hatch operates on an electric button. Now, if you'd rather have your LS36 powered by outboards, there are Yamaha 425 XTOs available. It's a great power package. If you do that, this entire engine room becomes storage. Now, you notice me walking through the handy transom area. There's another boarding option there, the step on the corner, and there's even a side boarding door. I really like that option. If you look on the port side, you've got a large non-skid area that makes it easy to step on from the dock. Now, to keep the boat organized, there's an enormous complement of storage. You've got a boot locker on the transom that is so long you can keep boat hooks and mop handles in there. You step aboard, there's a wet locker right here across the midships. It's insulated to use as a cooler. You've also got a dry locker that runs all the way to the console seats. Up front in the bow area is another large dry locker, and that's in addition to storage underneath the seats. Now, here's my favorite storage area. Lift this up and you have dedicated storage for the tables. Now, whether you choose the LS36 with Volvo Penta Power or the LX36 with Yamaha Outboard Power, you get a well-performing boat with plenty of sea-keeping capabilities and luxury all around for a big crew. I'm Randy Vance in Sandusky. Time to get this thing back out on the water.